Hey guys, here's a lesson on creating like a fake like samba type drumming feel. Uh, if you're anything like me, uh, when I used to play, you know, you get like these cool like samba drummers doing all this really cool stuff. And you're like, how do I do that coming from like a pop and rock background? So I've just got like a real kind of quick hack uh, to get into that quite kind of thing. If you just take a normal groove like this, which we've all done, uh, if you then move the right hand to the right symbol and play a left hand as a cross stick, so hitting the drum that way, do the same groove. And you're part of the way that the other thing that you have a lot in these uh, uh kind of samba grooves is they're replicating the sound of multiple drummers playing because it comes from like festivals and uh, like these big parades with loads of drummers playing uh so when you're doing samba drumming you're trying to replicate that a bit so what you can do is with that like right left right left thing you're doing these normal grooves called ghost notes right left, right left. move those onto the toms so you can have they're still the same groove we had before but just trying to move that around. Okay, and tricky getting from the toms into that cross stick position, just land with your hand in the tip of the stick first. And then see if you can get into that cross stick position from the toms. And if you are holding the stick upside down uh, to get that fat cross stick, just using the butt end of the stick works on the toms. So that's a good start there. The other thing is because we're trying to create these multiple drummers, try and get the left foot involved. A great place, a lot, a lot of what happens in samba drumming is you've got this foot pattern. You get that kind of thing. So just start with the left foot. One and two and three and four. And if you're doing a normal groove, one and two and three and four and try and just coordinate that foot to fit in there. And again, you're a lot of the way there. And then the other thing is just try and get your right foot busy, playing it on like every beat. Or if you can get the full kind of samba foot pattern, right, left, right, right, left, right, one, and a two, and a three. If you can do that as well. And then from there, listening to a lot of kind of Brazilian drummers and like uh, world groove music, you can start getting a feel for what you're expecting from these different grooves and start kind of merging into a fully fledged samba player. So, but that's just a couple of little hacks to get you started and I hope that helps.